Uh, inshallah, like I said, today I was requested to go over a couple of ayahs from the Quran. So I'm going to go over a couple of ayahs from the Quran. Somebody requested that I go over a couple of ayahs from the Quran. So we're going to go over these ayahs of the Quran and, and inshallah break these ayahs down and get some top with some commentary, uh, 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 some information, some dhikr, some reminder, some reflection. And, and, and inshallah, maybe we can get some understanding, inshallah. Chapter 10, verses uh, 71 through 109. Chapter 10, verses 71 through 109, inshallah. Chapter 10, Surah Yunus, Yunus, which is Jonah, Jonah in the whale, right? Yunus is Jonah, right? So again, chapter 10, verse 71 through 109, and we just go ayat by ayat, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Chapter 10, verses 71 through 109. Pay close attention, like I said, pay close attention, man. You know, write the notes as I go through this, inshallah. I'm going to write stuff on the board and, and, and try to make it easy for you. Things that are, like I said, important or think that you guys should have an understanding. I'm going to write it on the board. But inshallah, man, I want you guys to use your minds as well, man. Think. You know, because I might say something that I might not put on the board, but it's important to you. Man, write it down. Right? Just like y'all in class, man, write that down. If it's imperative for you, it's important to you, write that down. All right? Chapter 10, verse 71 through 109. Awudu Billahi Minish Shaitan Rajim. And we always start off with Awudu Billahi Minish Shaitan Rajim. Seek a breakfast in the last book of Allah from Shaitan and curse. And recite to them the news of Nuh or Noah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and tell them about the story of Noah. When he said to his people, O oh my people, if I stay with you, am I reminding you of the ayahs or proofs of evidence and revelations of Allah is hard for you, then I put my trust in Allah. So he's talking to the people and said, man, uh, I'm going to tell you about the ayahs of Allah. I'm going to tell you about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells me. But even if this is hard for you, I don't matter. I'm going to put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to my proclamation and try to advocate to this deen. Regardless if it's hard for you, I'm going to still put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to welcome. So devise your plots. So do whatever you want to do. You and your partners, you and your shared team, and let not your plot be in doubt for you. Man, go ahead and do that. Then pass your sentence on me and give me no respite. So basically, Nuh alayhi salam saying, man, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent me with this revelation. It don't matter if it's hard for you or not. I'm going to put my trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do what I got to do. So go ahead and do what you got to do. Plot, plan, whatever you got to do. Get everybody you need to do. Right? Matter of fact, don't even hold back with me. Do what you got to do, man, and don't even hold back. Right? Pass your sentence on me and give me no respite. I'm not asking for no uh, pat on the back. It doesn't matter. Okay? My reward is only from Allah, meaning, man, my intent is to please Allah for Allah and get my reward, what? In the Akira with Allah for Allah. That's why I'm doing it. And I have been commanded to be of the Muslimin. And I have been commanded to be of those who submit to the will and commandment of Allah. So Noah, alayhi salam, Noah was what? A Muslim. Allah said that in the Quran. He said, what? وَأُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ and I have been commanded to be of the Muslimin. Those who submit to the one commandment of Allah. So Noah was a Muslim. Right here. Noah was a Muslim. Verse 72. They denied him. Who? Noah alayhi salam. They denied him. But we delivered him. Remember Noah's ark. Built the ark. They thought he was crazy. They thought he was majnoon. Man, what you doing, man? Huh? You building a boat in the middle of the desert? What's wrong with you? Right? They denied him. They didn't believe him. They, he told them, that, man, get ready. Submit to Allah. Stop doing what you're doing. The water's coming. The flood's coming. Man, everybody fits to be drowned. You better listen to me. He said, but what? They denied him, but we delivered him and those with him in the ship. And we made them generations replacing one after another while we drowned those who denied our ayats, our signs, our revelations. Then see what was the end of those who were warned. So Allah said, and remember this story, man, Noah, it doesn't say it in this ayah, I don't know, like I said, I haven't read this yet, but Noah preached for 950 years, 950 years, he preached and preached and preached, they thought he was crazy, man, he minds little nigga, he crazy, he's building a boat out in the middle of nowhere, man, he talking about do this, do that, goody two-shoe, man, man, we ain't trying to listen to you, it said that only a few believed in Noah, his wife didn't, his wife didn't listen, she got drowned, one of his sons got drowned, right? So again, remember we said what? Family ties don't matter. You, it doesn't matter just because that was his wife. She was the wife of the prophet. She didn't even believe him. His son didn't even believe him. He was a prophet. SubhanAllah, right? 
So just being uh, uh, related to somebody or married to somebody, that ain't going to save you. Okay? So they denied him. So Allah says, then see was the end of those who were warned. So he said, man, remember what happened to Noah and them, man. They were warned just like you being warned today. Y'all being warned, don't get drowned like they got drowned. Huh? Don't be destroyed like they got destroyed. Then after him, we sent messengers to their people. They brought them clear proofs, but they would not believe what they had already rejected before time. Then he said, then after him, we brought some more prophets. We brought some more messengers, but yet they still didn't believe with him or what was brought before they still denied. Thus, we seal the hearts, again, khatam. Thus, we seal the hearts of the transgressors, those who disbelieve in the oneness of Allah, and they disobey him. So again, he says, him. He sealed their hearts because your heart is where iman and faith resides. That's why he keeps talking about your heart because faith resides in the heart. Okay? So he said he sealed their hearts. Okay? So if Allah seals your heart up, it don't matter what you try to do. He'll seal it on you. He'll send up uh, uh, some type of fitna or some type of sealing. There's a hadith for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that a person, every time you sin, that Allah puts a black dot on your heart. Every time you sin, a black dot. Right? He said, but if you follow it up with a good deed, He'll polish that black dot and it'll be removed and your heart gets polished up. But he said there will be a person who continues to do bad deeds and bad deeds and he keeps getting these black dots until Allah seals his heart. All the black dots cover his whole heart and it's a cut them on his heart and he can't get no more nor. No more light can penetrate that heart. Okay?